What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jim and I. We're back for another video. Okay, so we put the car back on ramps and we got all the tools back out again. Why? Because we're gonna do something here in the back. It's missing something in the back to complete. Okay, two more pieces. But I got one of them and the other one it's on the way. Okay, so if you guys know what a rear diffuser is, is it pushes the down car down more air for uh, more down for us also um greater miles per gallon on your car and the reason why is that because when you're driving the wind is pushing the car okay it's flowing all around the car now what is the most uh where it hits the most is this let me show you Okay, so the rear diffuser is going to be right about here, okay, right about here, okay. Now, you see these pockets right here, okay, the pocket right here, the pocket over here as well. Now, every time when the car is driving forward, okay, when the car is driving forward, the air is going through all of this stuff here, okay. It's going through all this passage here, and when it hits a certain area, it slows down the car. When it slows on the car, you eventually want to hit the gas so you can go faster, right? So what we can do to mitigate that to create uh, more miles per gallon and more downforce and for looks is a, my exception, is a rear diffuser, okay? So I bought the rear diffuser that's going to cover this whole entire area here, okay? And we're going to start that today, okay? And just so you know... We're gonna leave that bolt on, just unbolt that, loosen, uh, just loosen it, completely take this bolt out, do the same thing for the other side, okay? Because there's gonna be a bracket right here, there'll be a bracket over there, and uh, they give us some supplies so we can make these holes here to a, uh, a, screw, a screw type uh, for the, the screws instead of plastic clips, because this here is gonna take a lot of hit when, you, when you're driving uh, driving the car when you have a rear diffuser on. So also you gotta remove this, okay? Cause this is gonna be turned into a screw. That's gonna be turned to a screw. I'm not too sure about this one here, but I took the other one off right there just to be sure, okay? But I'm gonna have to do this, undo this here. Now, to make the job easier, um, I'm supposed to remove the back wheels. Okay, both of them, but I'm not too sure yet. I can maybe get around that because you might have to adjust it, okay, once you put it on, okay? So let me get up and show you what I'm talking about. Ugh. All right, so here it is. First energy reading. That's how big the rear diffuser is, okay? Let me go ahead and then unpackage everything. I wanna lay it all out here for you guys. All right, get you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Man, they packaged the crap out of this, man. That took me a minute to undo all this. Okay, here we are. All right, so here's the rear diffuser. Here's all the thins here, thins here. Uh, this is a non-aggressive one. Uh, the, the really aggressive one, um, the thins in the bottom, hey, they stick out to like right here. I don't like that. I like the non-version one. We got a sticker. We got two brackets here. Another two board brackets right there. We got nuts and bolts. Okay, washers. And here are the fittings that I was telling you about that that's gonna go into those holes. Okay, we gotta do that as well. This is the tool to make those fittings. Okay, you're gonna need that. Some more screws, okay. And this is what it tells you. Okay, thank you for purchasing a genuine one. Um, versus engineering product for installed manuals they have on the website i'll get the i'll try to grab the link of the installation i don't add it very bottom of the video so if you do pick this up i'll add this uh this uh, rear diffuser to the very bottom of the video as well so that way you can make the install as easy as possible okay now um i know where most of them go because i did my research okay i know where most of them go um you see, like, man, they package the crap out of it. Um, I want to need some help with this one here. 
Uh, these, remember the, remember that bolt I told you that I was gonna undo the very bottom one, undo that one, and then the top one I'll leave it loose. This is where this one goes. It goes just like that on that. Okay. Um, this one here goes right right here. Okay. Right right here. I know that. This makes uh, more screws. Okay, I'm gonna need those. These are spacers that goes right here with the bolt before you put this in. That goes right there. I know that. Okay. So I'm gonna leave that for right now. I'm gonna do these first and do the screws first. Okay, do the best I can. Bear with me. Catch us in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, you gonna need a what's this? A twelve millimeter socket. So, let's see if I can put the camera right about here. Thing gets it. This is not on the tripod right now at the moment. Okay, so you're gonna have to remove this one, loosen the top one, but completely remove the bottom one. Bolts out. Now the top one, just loosen it. Don't oh, don't uh, don't take it out fully. That's good enough. You're gonna need that bracket. It'll give you two pieces of that bracket. What do I do with it? Uh, this right here. You're gonna need to slide it right here. If you guys can see it. Right there. Just like that. Put that screw back. Just head and tighten it. Don't. Well, not really hand tighten it, but just put it in there to where it holds it. So, this give it some kind of adjustment to your diffuser. So you can go down, you can go up, you know, whichever you're liking, you know. So that's why the, the instruction says to do it like that. Okay. So give and take. We'll leave it like that. Next step is this right here. Okay. We gonna do these. So for those. You're gonna need what I do with that bracket. Oh man, it's way over there. Let me go get it. Alright guys. We're back. Next up. These holes right here. You guys can see it. Here and here. Okay. You're gonna install that bracket. As and so. Okay. That's what you need to do. You guys can see that. Okay. You know what? It's better if I lay down in the city. I'm gonna do the other side catch you guys in a bit all right guys we're back okay i had to redo it you gotta remember this is my first time doing it okay that's on there okay that one and this one it's on there okay now 
What do I gotta do with this side? I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. I hope you guys can see this. I'm laying down while I'm trying to adjust the camera. Okay. There are three holes here. One. Oh, this one's kind of loose. Oh, uh, it's a clip that goes right there. I'll fix it. One right here, one right here, and one right here. Okay. That's all. One, two, three. Okay. So we got three of those we have to do. Okay. We got to install this. There's nothing in there. So we just put this right here inside the hole like that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fly out, but we got to put it in there and use their tool that they provide and make it as a tool so they can hold it in the spot. Okay. That's the idea. Okay. So let me do that part. Let me fix it so it can be more steadier. I see a clip right here is missing. I'm going to put that back on there. Okay. Uh, this clip right here is old, so I'm going to change that out real quick and then put one more clip here so this can stay steady. Catch you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're back. Okay, so you're going to need a 15 millimeter bolt. Not a bit. You're going to need a 15 millimeter uh, wrench, a hex screw with a screwdriver on it, okay? And you're going to need this tool right here to provide, okay? So apparently, this here goes this together. When you screw it in, this thing spreads open, okay? So that's how it's going to be. So you guys can see this because I'm going to do all three. Whew. Man, that's that's some work, man. I'm telling you. Really. Okay, stick it in. Do it right. Why is it still coming out? I think I didn't do it right. What did I do wrong? Is it the other screw or this screw? Because they give me two. Let me double check. Ah, oh, this is the longer one. Okay. I think. Cause it give me two of these. Oh no, they're about the same size. Look, but they're about the same size. But what in the world? All right, let me try this again. This is supposed to do that. Okay, yeah, it's really hard, but once you do it, it spreads it like a butterfly inside. Yep, that's how I want it to be. Now, unscrew it. And there we have it. OK, 
okay you need to do one two three and three more on the other side okay so that way I hope you guys can see it sorry I'm moving the camera all around see one two three so I'm gonna need to do three more uh, six in total so I gotta do two more and then three more on the other side just how I just showed you catch you guys in a bit all right guys we're back all right here we go this first side here is done This three side here is done. All right, off to the next step. What's going on, guys? All right, those are done. Now it's ready to go in. Now, I find it easier. Okay, I find it easier, and I was right. Is to take off your wheel, your back wheels off. Okay, get my wheel here. And the reason why, that way you can work this way for this bracket right here. Okay, because that diffuser is gonna go right here. Okay. So I got it on a uh, on a jack. Hopefully, this works out. Hannah's in there. She's she's cleaning the kitchen, but I don't have anybody to help me. So I'm trying to do this single-handedly. That's what's up, man. Use a jack, man. I gotta use a jack and use your head, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at that. All right, man. Cool. So I need a, you see? That, this bracket right here goes to this hole, you see? And then use the other thing. But let me move out the front one first. I get back to do it. All right, guys, we're back. And I was right, see? So now I'll put the hardware see two bolts in okay now here's the part that you want to adjust so if you look underneath you see how the the back over there and they hit the exhaust so you might have raised it up how you want it you go up and down and then once you got what you like you tighten it down you see so i was right it's easier to take up the wheel off so you have access to it but i'm gonna go ahead and do the back real quick right here in the back do here in the back real quick and then uh we'll do that front one again got you in a bit all right guys this side is done i adjusted it up and down and i tie it down we're good there this side the same way okay everything looks good now the bottom part this side here these right here yeah both these right here on the side so here and here so let me work on that catch you guys in a bit what's up guys we're back okay i found it easier 
to do it this way first before you do the uh, top. So you do these first right here, put the fin in between, lock all these lug nuts in, and then put it up there. Okay, that's just my opinion. This is easier. That way you can stick your arm in here and go all the way to the back and put all these nuts in. So I'm gonna do the same over here. Just so you guys you can see. Way. Then, this way. That's just my opinion. Once I bolt this side up, we are done. That's it. I think set, man. Cool, you know. All right, so this goes like this. Okay, so I'll put the fin in. The fin in go. This fin here goes in between, so like that. See that? Just like that. Okay, and then it goes like this. See? So I'm gonna go ahead and put a. Go through like that. And then And the nut. I want to do it hand tighten. Once I get them all three on, then I'll tighten them all down. Put it. Just do it that to where it holds. Like that, see? Now hand, hands free. I need two more nuts. Screws actually. Okay, then we'll need a washer. A screw. Another washer. Here. Another washer. Hold it in place. And then there's the nut. That, see? Now it holds in place. The last one. Okay. It's a little tricky because it's all the way in the back, all the way down here. Since I didn't screw all the screws in here, I can uh, put my arm in all the way down. This. It's, it's, it's better to tighten them all down now before you tighten all, all those up. Because once you tighten them all up, it's hard to get your hand inside here behind these nuts because my form is big. Okay, so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter and then a, the Allen wrench. So I tend to do the middle one first. Just because.
तो कैंप करें इस टॉपिक And we're done. That's it. All you do is put the screws in here and align straight up. And we're done here. That's it. You know, they short on washers. They don't give me enough washers. I want to need six more. Ain't that something? <laughs> Let me get some more washers. All right, guys. We're back. All right, so... Uh, Everything's done. Now, there are two brackets that are here in the back. I had come across other people when they installed this, they didn't do it correctly. Now, when you install the two back, okay, they come with different spacers. Large, medium, and small. The small looks better, and the reason why the rear diffuser is more closer to the bumper it's more flushed in so it makes a better look a lot of people that come across people that try to install this they either use a large one or a medium sized one and the reason why they can't use the smallest one because they can't get to it now the secret to that is that the various sides on the very edge that you put the screws in the three screws in on the on the side flap do not install those let them hang. Once you let both sides hang, the, the rear diffuser creates like a little oval. So you can swing your hand around and use a pair of pliers like this. The longer the better. Go around to here, catch the bolt, which is this bolt right here, which is this bolt right here, okay? and put it in as in so okay you swing around through here go all around do the first bracket and the second bracket do not install the sides let them hang you use your allen wrench key go from the bottom put this go around use a small spacer okay people tend to can't do the smallest one they like to do the the large one the most common one is the large one and the medium sized one the reason why they use the spacers is because they can't get to it. Well, I'm showing you how to get to it. Do like this, go all around through here. Put your allen key with the screw with the washer. Put it around and screw it in tight. That's it. Pretty simple. I was able to use a small one with the pair of pliers. Okay, with your screw, with your allen wrench, uh, allen wrench key screw for this. So when you try to put this through with a pair of pliers. I was saying you put your screw to the outside with the allen key with the washer go through and screw it in okay as and so easy real easy once you get these two tightened then you, you do the sides they make this they make the mistake of trying to start the sides first and they can't reach the middle because you got all that um, all that other stuff that's not giving you access to it. If you undo these, let them hang on this side here and this side here, you're able to put your hand around, go through the inside, and same thing, go through the other side to tighten the two back, uh, the two back center of the screws with the small spacer. Then you can start the sides, okay, after you're done with that. From there, people had also come across that they can't access the front of the, the, of the rear diffuser to tighten the four bolts, two bolts there and two bolts to the right. If you remove your back wheels, as I was doing, you have access to it and makes your job a lot faster. If you do this on your own, you never does before, this will take you about a day, a whole full day or a day and a half, okay, to get this done. I did this in four hours. Took off the back wheels, line them all up, use a jack stand, use a jack lift, okay, as you guys see me do. Don't install the sides, start the front. Don't adjust them yet. Um, do the two centers here in the back, okay? 
adjust the, uh, and then go back to the front, adjust the the, the, rear, the front, uh, the rear diffuser at the front, up and down. If you want more close to the exhaust, or you want to go a little more far away from the, from the exhaust, then you tighten those down. You come back here, you do the two sides here, okay, and then you install the sides. That's it. It took me four, four and a half hours. It didn't take me the whole entire day. It didn't take me a day and a half. It took me four hours to do the job, okay? And I never done this before. This is my first time doing it. And this is my first time putting a, a rear diffuser on a, on a Subaru. I did it on my, on my 370Z, which is over there, but that's simple. This here is more, a little more complicated, but you can get it done within four hours. If you do take off the back wheels, do the front of the splitter first, do the back of the center first, bolt them all up, adjust it, tighten everything down, do the sides, and then do the uh, under flaps, bolt them up to the three rivets on this side here and that side here. That's it, real simple. It takes you about four, four and a half hours tops. I did, I did it within time. It didn't take me the whole entire day. Other than that, here's the results. And this is all the leftover parts. And uh, last night it was getting late so I couldn't continue uh, recording, put everything away, and we're done here. But this is a secret. You need a, a, a long nose or a, a a plier, longer plier to get this job done. A must necessary to have it. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter um, wrench and a 15 millimeter wrench, Allen wrench key, and they give they provide you the uh, tools to put the rivets in the underneath the side, uh, side, side the sides uh, rear splats underneath the cargo. Okay. Now I want to throw some pros and cons about this. Okay. This rear diffuser here is chassis mounted. It's mounted to the chassis of the car. It ain't going nowhere. It's sturdy as hell, okay? Now, it's a good thing, okay? Now, here are the pros and the cons. That's the pro. The cons, if you wanna change your exhaust, if you wanna change your rear fog light, or you wanna do the, the rear dif uh, differential bushings, or the rear sway bar, the lower sway bar, you better get those done first before you install this, this rear diffuser. <clears throat> Cause once you install, un install the rear diffuser, you no longer have access. You will never no longer have access to the rear of the car area underneath the cargo. Cause the rear diffuser blocks that area. So you cannot take your exhaust, you cannot fix the your uh, rear fog light or your third brake light. You can't install a sway bar, the rear lower sway bar. You can't install the differential bushings because the rear diffuser is in the way. You got to take off the whole entire uh, rear diffuser to have access to the back to change all your exhaust or your axle back exhaust, your your rear fog light, your uh, rear differential bushing, your rear sway bar. You won't have access to that anymore. You better get that done first before you install the uh, rear diffuser. That's a that's a that's a that's a con right there. Second con, <clears throat> price point. Okay, price point. It's about seven forty nine plus tax, and shipping is free, I believe. No, shipping is sixteen dollars. Seven forty nine plus sixteen for the rear diffuser. It's pricey in a way, but where I see it, I think I believe it's worth it. Okay, and. The reason why I say it is because a lot of rear diffusers for these cars here, the, the fins, they're really flappy. You do this, they're not flappy at all. They're very sturdy as hell. This is fully aluminum, okay? Fully aluminum, it's not going nowhere, okay? And it's chassis mounted. Um, another good thing is that it protects your, uh, your exhaust, and it protects your rear fall light to being stolen. If anybody trying to steal your exhaust or steal your rear fault light, since the rear diffuser is in the way, it's blocking all that uh, whole entire back underneath the, underneath the car, you can no longer have access to it. So it provides security from people trying to steal your exhaust or your, uh, or your rear fault light or any uh, um, handling performance parts in the back of the rear underneath the car. Okay, that's another, that's another pro. Um, what else? Uh, the cons, maybe the price to some people, maybe they cannot afford it. Uh, pro, security, protects the exhaust, protects the rear fall light, and performance on the, on, the, on the very back of the car. It's very sturdy, um, straight out aluminum, uh, chassis mounted, 
those are the pros I've seen so far other than the price now the install installing this is kind of a pain in the ass okay but I hope I help other individual that does buy this here and watch my video to see how to install it and make it a lot more simpler for everybody else to install and like I said I had come across a lot of people uh, or, or, or or other people trying to install this having a very hard time and like I said I did within four hours four four and a half hours tops by myself um, easy all you need two jack stands a jack take off your back wheels and have a car high enough and that's it and have a creeper if you want to use a creeper get all your tools out you need a 15 millimeter socket wrench you're gonna need a 10, a 10 millimeter socket wrench Allen wrench keys to do the uh, to do the work and that's it and if you want to use a power uh, power, uh, power drill to help you uh, use the uh, put in the rivets on the on the sides three on this side three on that side you can do that as well that's what I did so it made the job a lot faster and a lot easier I used uh, a power tool power drill tool on the hex key to install the rivets instead of just putting in a holder with a wrench and then trying to use a Allen wrench key to create that rivet in that hole on three sides here and three sides there. I just use the power tool, hold the wrench there, hold it up, and then it created a rivet right there. It's a lot easier for me. And like I said, it knocks out a lot of time. Once you that narrow down everything, how it's supposed to be done and how to install, it's simple, it's easy. It's more, it looks complicated. It is complicated in a way, but once you get everything down and how to do it, easy as hell, okay? So those are my pros and cons about the rear diffuser, okay? Other than that, it looks great. Check it out. Get things done. Okay. Looks great. Okay. Looks very good. Oh, my tripod. There you go. Looks really good. Okay. Yeah, see? I was able to use the small spacer. Okay. And it makes the, uh, the rear diffuser more flush in with the bumper instead of hanging down low. If you use the large one or the medium one, your, your rear diffuser is hanging down low a little bit more, okay? But I was able to use the smallest one and it looks great, okay? So, let's get to another one. The next day. What's going on, guys? All right, here goes package number two. It's hot outside, dude. I'm telling you. It is very hot outside. It is hot outside. No joke. Okay. Check that out. Me. Real carbon fiber. Okay. Real carbon fiber. Whoa. Let's go check it out. So you're gonna need alcohol wipes on this one. Okay. And I'm just gonna put it on it just to give you an idea. Okay. So now I gotta rub it down with alcohol real good, like real, real good. And then uh, peel the stickers off of it and uh, throw it on. So you're gonna need some good alcohol. This one, this one stick on it real good, real good. 
don't want no debris whatsoever. No debris, nothing. Real clean in order to put this on correctly. Get all the cracks and cream, get all that dirt off. Okay. in a bit all right guys we're back I get all the 3m off okay we're getting ready to install it right now Whoo, man it is hot all right here we go on the street down there it's a uh, siren blasting and stuff I don't know what's going on probably a car accident or something there we have it power power lip finish your exhaust looks good there we go okay there we have it looks good tell me what you guys think all right guys that's all right now I'm gonna do the other side same thing and uh yeah I'm going to the other side one second all right here we go Whew. number two gentlemen tell me what you think this is the last part here for the exterior this car is now complete for the time being looks good looks very good tell me what you guys think sure it's all good okay here we have it okay what you guys think? Okay. All right, guys. That's all I have right now. Please give me a thumbs like. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. When you guys give me a thumbs like and subscribe to my channel, that support and help the channel a lot to grow more. I can try to continue making this, this kind of type of footage. Also in trucking, cars, paintball, travel, food, and my other YouTube channel. Check out my other YouTube channel, Another Level Arms. I'll have to link the very bottom of the video as well. 
I will add the I will add the links to the very bottom of the video for the diffuser and those carbon fiber overlays. Okay. So if you want to do the old carbon fiber overlays or the rear diffuser, links down below. Hit it. I'll take you take you straight right to it, and that way you can do it on your car, on your STI. Okay. Thank you guys for your, for your love and support. Without you guys, I want to continue making this type of, type of footage. You guys keep me going. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. And uh, man, the struggle is real. <laughs> the struggle is real. All right, guys. Peace. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Till next time. Just, just follow the beat. Just follow the beat.